Hi guys, Abby here. So today we are on the hunt to go find an inflatable so that we can go to the beach and go into the beautiful, beautiful waters and see how far we can get. So I think we're gonna go for a flamingo. Um, it seems to be the biggest one that we could buy for cheapish. So it is 25 euros for the flamingo. Um, we'll just see. Okay, so we did find Fernando the flamingo, but the problem is, as it says, it only takes 40 kilograms. Now, neither of us are 40 kilograms, we're both over 40 kilograms, so to have two of us on it is very questionable. However, for about the same price, I think it's literally cheaper. cheaper, we've got this double ring for 21.90, so we're gonna go for this, because then we can at least sit together. Okay, so it was really nice. They actually blew it up for us, so it's sorted and we're ready to go in the water. <laughs> Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to the pool. Uh, are the pool being in the sea? Yes. <laughs>
Okay guys, you're not gonna believe it. We had to come out of the water because I got stung by a jellyfish. What did I do to deserve this? So now we're having to deal with that. I'm okay, I'm fine. It just is a wee bit nippy. Other than that, I'm fine. Look, put sand on it. I've got some hydrocortisone cream I'm gonna put on it. It has like obviously wilted, but putting this sort of cream on should help it die down. I'm not having any other effects. It's not even itchy. It's just a wee bit nippy. You know that way when you get a cut and you go in the water? It's a wee bit nippy. And I'm breathing fine, which is good considering I just climbed up all those stairs. So I should be fine. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this silly wee vlog. Um, I just want to catch up on the jellyfish incident. So do not put sand on your leg or your jellyfish thing, whatever it is. Um, I actually followed the NHS guidelines. So you have to put it in some water, so you have to go back into the sea um, the sea water will cleanse it. Then, so don't use clean water, it needs to be salt water. And then you have to scrape it with like a debit card and um, that's to try and make sure that all the sting is out of it. And then you have to hold it under as hot water as you possibly can bear for 20 to 40 minutes. And lastly, you have to put an antiseptic cream so you can use, um, I use to the creme personally because that's what I had handy, but you can use like a hydrocortisone, something like that, um, but always check online first, like the NHS. Make sure whatever you're reading is a reliable source and not just someone on the internet saying something. Um, that's how you end up with your palpine on your leg. <laughs> um, so don't do that. Follow NHS guidelines or whatever medical thing that's in your country just to stay safe it is healed um it didn't take long to heal it took like maybe a week or two but i am less scarred but you know what it's a story to tell in the future um crazy experience but we got through it um it wasn't too sore um, it hurt when it happened like it was really really painful when it happened um, and it did nip right up until we put the antiseptic cream on. So all is good. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. Um, make sure that you like, hit the like button down below because it really helps the channel. And if you've made it this far, comment some jellyfish emojis down below. I don't even know if there is jellyfish emojis. If not, write jellyfish below. Um, let me know if you've been stung by a jellyfish and what you did and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!